said I was going to do a full video on this, so I'm going to do a full video on this. And we're going to talk about spiritual attacks. These things are very real. Um, and they usually happen whenever a certain person cannot get to you in person. So they have to get to you in your dreams. They have to get through. To, they have to get through to you in other ways, and um, they can even get through to you through other people. I feel I've noticed patterns in my own life. I can't speak for you guys, but me personally, I've noticed patterns in my life where it's like you get rid of these toxic people, and you think you're perfectly fine now. Like. You got rid of the toxic people in your life. But all of a sudden, a whole new flock of toxic people come and you don't even know they're toxic until you really get to know them and it's like, damn. Like, people are messed up in this world. Like, damn. They're everywhere. And this is what I've learned. People are crazy. They really are. People are not... Almost everybody in this world... And when I say almost everybody, like, a greater amount of the population are not woke. They're not connected to the real energy. They have bad energy in them. They're not a part of the woke clan. They're not a part of being a chosen one. They are not spiritually aligned. They are disturbed. They have dark energies within them. They sold out. And it will rub off on you. Whenever whenever they see you in person, they feel disturbed. Because they see a person that is themselves. And they know they sold that person out within themselves. And it's crazy. But it's true. I don't know if you guys can hear that sound in the background. But it just started pouring down rain. I don't know if you guys can hear that in the video. But it just started pouring down rain out of nowhere. And it's loud. But anyways. Um, you just have to be very careful. Of who you come around. Because like I said, I noticed patterns to my life. I noticed I would get rid of some people and I go to a new place or something like this and there's just new people and it's like, you kick it off all right. You can even tell there might be something a little bit off with some of these people, but it's just like they, something's throwing these certain energies your way to take you down. I notice there's a lot of people where I come from, they just like come around me and they just take my energy like out of nowhere and it's it's crazy. It's like no matter where I go, no matter what I do, there's always something being thrown at me to try to take me off my game. And this has been going on my entire life. Like, I just can't get away from these people. And it's like, I literally believe it's like the devil. It's like Satan trying to throw these things my way. To try to stop me from everything that I am. And I'll never let that happen. But I just feel like it's an ongoing thing. And you tell yourself, like... And, I mean, I used to tell myself, like, yeah, great. Like, I eliminated these toxic people. I did it. Not knowing that you're going to have so many more obstacles to go through after that. You know what I mean? Like, and it's a never-ending thing. It just keeps coming and coming and coming and coming and coming. Some of these things I even like laugh at, like 
I'm not even joking. Some people and their energy and the way they come up to me and the way they do their, the things that they do, it's like, it's laughable. Because I know how much of a joke it is. It's not like I can't see through these people because I clearly can. But it's like there's always just something trying to come my way. It's like people really ain't about shit. Like, what are you doing? Like, why are you coming up to me? Like, can you not focus on your own work and get better yourself? Like, what are you doing? And, like, the, all this stuff goes on with the gym. It goes on in other places. It's just like, Jesus. And I'm pretty sure it's because these people can sense that you have better energy within yourself than they have within themselves. So they want to come over to you to get some of your good energy because they don't have good energy within themselves. And these are also spiritual attacks. It's what I'm explaining in this video. Like these people can spiritually see how like bright your spirit is. Just they can. Evil spirits and bad spirits and negative spirits can also sense good in other people. And they can sense happy spirits. So they're gonna come to you to try to say everything they can to get under your skin, to try to do everything they can to bring you down to where they're at. But you can't let it happen. You just can't let them get close. It's, it's the only thing you, you can't do. These things happen at work. Like, you guys could be working a job. You guys could have people like that at your work doing this to you. Like, it, it can I used to work jobs, like, often when I was a bit younger. And these things would happen there. And I had to quit jobs. I had to leave. Because I was literally about to pound somebody out. And I let the boss know that. I let people know that. And I did because they weren't going to do anything about it. And you can't torture me mentally and expect me to not retaliate. Because I'm going to retaliate. If, you're, if you won't, stop. Like I'm, you're going to push too many buttons. And you're going to hit the wrong one. And you're going to get schmucked. You know what I mean? Like, you're just asking for it. But, it's not always, like, you're not always safe. Even though, like, your energy might be right, you might be a positive person, you're not always safe in this world because there's other people out there. There's evil identities. There's evil everywhere. And if they see your spirit, they're going to get, they're going to try to bring you down. And some people, I, I, I kid you not, they have so much hate towards you because they see how happy you are. Their spirit sees how happy your spirit is. And they're so mad because of it. They're not going to say anything to you. They're not going to do anything to you. But you can see the anger in their spirit. Because yours is happier and jollier in all the things around the board. More than theirs is. They're going to be mad. They're going to be upset. They're going to give you those looks. They're going to give you those... And just disbelief. Just this envious, angry look. And I, I, I'm not even going to lie, guys. Like, these things happen to me sometimes. And I'm literally laughing. Like, I almost burst out laughing. Because it's like, I think that's hilarious, bro. Like, you're mad at me because why? And I can't help sometimes but to laugh. It's funny. Like you were just defeated, bro. You just got defeated. And you showed it. You showed your weakness. <sighs> it just blows my mind how somebody can be mad and bitter at somebody else. And th these are the things that's been going on to me my whole life. For the progress and the hard work that I made forever ever since like before I even became an adult like when I was a younger kid and everything else these things were always happening to me and some of these people I'm telling you they won't even talk to you because they're so mad they don't want to completely show you that they're mad at you or something like this they might not be able to sense that you can that you know what's going on within them, but you can damn well sense it. 
They just don't want to fully expose it. And these are the same people that always want to believe that they are smarter and better and greater than you when they are not even close in any way, shape, or form. It's all an act. They just want to try to act this way in front of you or to you just because. And these things, when people are doing this, it, it literally makes me laugh. Like, are you kidding me? Like, are you literally kidding me? Pathetic. Now, please, step out of my way so I can continue on and do what I'm doing. Because you are out of your damn mind. You are focused on me. You're caught up in me. And you're not even close. Like, please, go do 1,000 jumping jacks or do something else. Like, please, get away from me because I'm going to continue on in my life. I'm going to continue keeping the ball rolling and do some bigger and better things over here. You're staying mad at me while I keep continue to work on myself. You competing with me is not going to get you the win at the end of the day, pal. You have to compete harder with yourself as I did my entire life. That's what it is. The only competition you should be in is with yourself. To be mad at somebody else for what they have, for who they become, for for anything. Like, it's just stupidity. Just plain stupid. You literally have to look in the mirror, and that is the person who you compete with every single day. And like I said, to get a win over somebody else, to try to compete with somebody else, it's not going to get you to win. It's these types of people that are all about their pride and their ego. Because they don't want to do the real work. If they were real people doing the real work, they wouldn't have any of these thoughts. They wouldn't be doing any of these things. And they would be humbled anyways. And they'd have a much better personality and they would be a much better person. Because they would know how hard the grind really is. They know how hard the struggle really is. But yet they just want to like compete with everybody else because of their ego. Like, And it's not even get, making them better. It's not even getting them a win. It's not even doing anything. And most of the time they want to compete with somebody else. And they end up taking a loss. And they, now they look really dumb. Like, good job, bro. Now you look twice as stupid. It's things like that that amaze me. The spiritual things that go on within within some of these people, it's just, you know. <clears throat> and uh, this is just this is just like a part of it. There's other spiritual things too, like I was mentioning at the very start of this video, like it could be your ex-girlfriend, your ex-boyfriend, something like this. Um, I'm telling you guys, they will try to attack you in your sleep. They will try to get you any way they can. It's the succubus type stuff, the incubus type stuff. It's it's very real. When they can sense that you are moving on completely from them, you will be attacked in your dream. Whether you want to believe it or not, and there will be weird things happening. Like, I used to see some of these people's family, like their parents, like their mom. That I used to have past history with, like you see their, you see their parent. It's just like, it's these things that try to like just keep you aligned with them in your mind. But it's like you're already too far gone. All these things could be thrown at you, and it's just not going to do anything else. But yet, there's still little things spiritually trying to attack you to try to take you off your game. But you're too strong. The Holy Spirit within you is too strong, and none of these things, none of these obstacles. None of these negative people, nothing is ever going to get to you because you're too solid. Too solid. You can't be disturbed. But anyways, guys, um, I'm going to cut the video off here. And I'm going to shut the window in the bathroom right now because it is pouring rain. And the window is opened. And there might just be a little bit of water that came through that window because 
it's fully opened. And I better get to that now, so. I'll come back tomorrow, once again, with some more solid videos. And I will be back. Peace out.